At this stage, we have a, a 5 million ounce resource. To get to that figure, which is in itself impressive, we don't have to go deep. So that's the first thing. Uh, what we know is quite shallow. There's still potential to expand at depth. And the top part of it represents 2 million ounces of oxide material. Oxide material meaning uh, cheaper mining costs, cheaper processing costs, a lower capital uh, operation to build. So those are all attributes that are somewhat unique compared to all other projects in the country. The project in terms of uh, timelines is working uh, quite nicely at the moment. We're looking at doing the technical studies that uh, are underway and having those completed uh, probably in the first quarter of 2013. And from there, having all the final uh, economic models, financial models, um, technical studies, and social impact uh, in, on the environment and uh, the communities done by um, the end of June. In terms of uh, size and scope, the project is one of the largest uh, undeveloped uh, gold deposits here in, uh, in Burkina and probably in West Africa at the moment. And uh, Orzone has been in the country here since late 1990s. They've been able to uh, establish uh, credibility here in uh, Burkina Faso. They've also been able to be part of a discovery that took place in the uh, early 2000s, uh, namely the Essacan deposit. Essacan was um, a large artisanal and the largest artisanal mining site in the country from the time of its discovery by peasants and small-scale miners back in 1985. Ozone took the project from early exploration all the way to advanced exploration through uh, largely through feasibility and permitting. So of course all of this experience in terms of the training of our geologists and the training of other services to get the permit and develop the mine is absolutely relevant to what we're doing here at Bombore. We won't make the, the same uh, errors than uh, the other companies that already have mines in Burkina Faso. I mean uh, concerning uh, relation with the population, I mean uh, some uh, technical choices. The proximity of this project with the provincial capital of Zorgo where you can find public schools all the way up to the end of the secondary cycle and the proximity to the capital city of Ouagadougou allows the project to have some people that will be based in those towns that can still have a normal family life. The national highway that is about 10 kilometers from here is the major link between the capital city and coastal seaports in the countries of Benin and Togo. So that's a major supply line. The Bombore project is basically one of many West African gold occurrences. What's peculiar about this one, first of all, is its location with respect to major infrastructures such as uh, national roads, power grid, and uh, major cities such as the capital city of uh, Burkina Faso, Ouagadougou.